What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're back on the free-to-play account after we finally got the crash resolved and we made some really, really amazing free-to-play progress here today. So let's jump into some Void campaign. You guys are going to be impressed, and this is just the big old gold star for Star Swordsman Machman. Let's go. <laughs> So it definitely did not like that click we did right there. So uh, let's come on over to here and let's jump in here. Let's just go to build and just do it manually here. We need just the last one. It does cost more gems, sadly, but what it does let us do is get more speed and more stats ramping up. So there we go. All those master toolboxes are right. Yeah, regular toolboxes. Pretty much done here. Um, to the mid 20s, not bad because our main house is like in the 50s. So we're going to try to make both of them about the same. Uh, and what we can also do is continue working towards getting more coziness unlocked, which will be good. So, yeah, I think that's good. I tried Void Vortex. We're kind of stuck on Defire Area 2. We could get a, uh, a decent, could get a decent kill here, though. I don't know. This could work. I don't want to throw you in here. Throw the Amon Ron because she has our splendid crown and she has the best chance to live through all this too. Oh, our Star Swordsman Mach been putting in some huge damage numbers now. All right, so Amon Ra does live, but she loses the energy. We got rid of the two Mims, which are two of the biggest issues. Our Machman just needs to live a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Please don't die. No, stop, stop. We need this Machman to survive. I don't think Lord of Fear... Oh, God, she's getting slaughtered. Yeah, that's pretty much the issue we have been dealing with. Um, We will probably consider swapping one more Machman copy here, I think. I think... And besides that, we're, we're, I think we're just done with the gem store. We're not going to be able to get anything from the relic store. I think we're good now. Our next focus is going to be um, the tree here. Getting this one leveled up as well. What are you running right now? Damage reduction, crit, and block. I like that. What are you running? Crit, crit, damage reduction. You know what? We're going to try something. We're going to go away from that, and we're going to go to, like, holy damage here. We're going to go, like, all-out offensive. we got the crit, crit attack looking very sharp. All right. Here's the next thing we're going to attempt. We're going to try to get past 112 with three upgrades. Um, I'm thinking this might work out. We'll see. Really comes down to his active once he changes forms. Although we could try him with a round one active again because he has gotten stronger recently. He might be taking too much damage now without that innate damage reduction. Nope, we have a huge active right here. Is it strong enough? Not quite. Oh, he died before changing forms. That's not good. Uh, I think if we do run him this way, I want him in the back row. And let's see how much damage he does right out the gate. Pretty decent, honestly. He gets to another active, there's hope. Nope. <laughs> I think he has a chance. If we keep him in the back row, very offensively built, he has a chance. We CC the entire back row, which is awesome for survivability. Oh, no, we didn't get an active. That's not good. It's close, but he might be a little too squishy in this state. So let's change that back. Let's switch him back. His enables are all out offensive. I like that. Let's go back to the damage reduction and see if that is going to give us a little bit better of a result here. Keep him in the back row. Try to get those first two huge actives. Uh, it really just depends on how, how much he chases here too. Keep them CC. That's what I like. Okay, now we get... Oh, no. I thought we were going to get another huge active. Oh, we basically just have to figure out a way to keep him alive until that time. It's going to come down to RNG, but I think we can get past this level. Ooh, that was a really nice chase active right there. Okay, round four active. Here we come. Big damage. Big oh, that wasn't too big. We might do a little bit more. Oh, we might get one more active, it looks like. Oh, if we can lock down this back row in Nosuke, though, I... Oh, man, this is going to be rough. 
Can he do it 1v1? He might be able to. Oh, 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 he finally got past 1-1-2. One, one, that one was a stinker. So let's see how far we can make it now because this is looking pretty solid if we can do some crazy round one damage. The problem being is getting past that point. And a lot of times I feel like running him in the front row is the better option and letting him get an active a little bit later once he gets a lot of counterattacks off. Good lord, there's so many burns and bleeds going out just by hitting these Cthugas. We're taking so many dot damages. This has potential. We might be able to do this one. Yes, we can. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. We were just stuck on that one level, and now we might be able to make some progress as the free-to-play. Oh, it really just comes down to the overpoweredness of that active ability in round one, and then like a round three active on top of that. It's just so, so much damage. <laughs> oh, this is so pleasing. Yes, yes, yes. Big damage. Come on, we got to kill a lot of them off. If we don't kill like four of them off in round one, it gets a little sketchy. Might die right here. Yeah, yeah, just a little too much. Plus the EOS sun ticking at the end of every round we'd have to like keep the vessa locked down i feel like it is possible though or just kill the vessa that's actually awesome keeping the eos alive till last is probably the best result because then we're not taking damage from the sun every round we need one more active i don't think we're gonna get it wait we are not enough damage though it's close it's definitely close and i think with enough tries we can brute force our way through this very quickly again it just comes down to how strong the round one active is and then making sure man actually maybe both of them in the back row would be the better result because aspen i kind of want his active to hit the back row potentially this uh this eos oh geez or just destroy the whole team we lost energy at the end of the round, which felt really bad. Oh, no, because then Amon Ra just hits, like, everything. I guess in this case, we don't need damage reduction this time. We could go back to holy damage and going, like, very offensive. Granted, this one might just be a victory here. The sun draining our energy feels so bad. It's like we're never going to get another active off again. <laughs> This could be the win. Oh, no. That's not great. Maybe. Maybe we get an active. Oh, a lot of extra energy. Come on. No. Come on. Yes. We got the W here, too. That is nice to see. Man, if we can make it all the way down here and start getting some void currencies, that would be cool. We might need to switch their positions up. Although, oh, God, the counterattacks are going to be brutal on this wave. Oh, no. This could be really bad for us. So many counterattacks. Oh, man. I feel like we might need more heroes to even get this one done. Really, it just comes down to if Machman can just, like, utterly destroy the enemies in one turn. I think that is legitimately the answer. So what we need to do is just run him as, as offensive as possible. Let's just try something. Uh, not going to worry about running like a 3-1, but we are even going to come down here. All out aggression. Let's change this over to holy damage. We got the skin. Yep. Yeah, okay. One more try, and then we'll call it for right now. Or I should say one more good try. Washi actually dies before he gets his attack off. That was pretty impressive. Because like I said, if Aspen can stay alive, he can probably take one to two targets himself. But Star Swords of Nockman literally has to just kill the entire enemy team in round one. That's like the only hope for us here is just getting a crazy active off after this. Ooh, can he take on three Horus? There's potential if we can just kill this back one off right here. I think we can lock them down now. But we're still going to have to take counterattacks. We just have to keep healing though. Oh, he might be able to do this. Maybe we need Phoenix this time. Oh, he's taking too much damage. He's not healing for enough. Oh, no. Oh, man. That's totally, totally possible at this point. Um, he's running speed. Let's build you for offense. We don't really care. Honestly, maybe just dot purify too. 
And we could honestly run him offensive as well. I kind of want a different stone on him at this point, but I know I'm going to need to keep that speed. Um, yeah, let's just... Oh, I was going to change the Phoenix. That's right. Well, let's see how this works out. Could be good, could be bad. We got to kill more of those Eloise, I think, in that first round to have a shot. So let's change this over to there. Get a little bit more damage from this pet. Granted, we won't get energy, but we don't really need it in this case. That was pretty sweet. And then he's going to have tons of healing, but he has to be able to outlast all the effects. Yeah, I think we just need a little bit better damage here. Not quite enough. We kind of killed the wrong target right here, but there's CC. No, it's just not enough. Not enough. Let me put you up the top so that hopefully he goes after the Eloise if she stays alive. Not bad, but again, I feel like we have to kill two of those Eloise to have a shot and then have Aspen kill the third one. And then we can take on the horse with just the Aspen. So just got a high roll. Just got a super duper high roll here. There's two of them. That's pretty good. There's the third one. That's good. And now it's all up to... Oh, I guess I need to use the shield. I guess I need the shield. That probably is such a difference maker right there. We can try it. Get rid of the horse bleeds with the purify. Big active from Mockman here. Just deleting enemies. But there are two up. That's not good for us. We need that active to kill the last one. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. We just need just need Mockman to hit the right targets at the right time. Mm, kill the horse instead of an Eloise. It's so close. Ah, so gosh darn close. All right, maybe maybe we do something even different and we go for resilience give him a little bit extra of a heal and because technically the dot purified the dot damage ticks before it removes it which is feeling pretty bad overall that wasn't amazing didn't get the kill so yeah sadly the counterattacks still go through with aspen compared to jara if we had a jara just locking down these eloise it would probably be so much easier but we've got aspen instead killer oh no we killed the horse again not quite enough it's just too much. It's too much. There's hope. Probably going to die, though, yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, probably going to die. All right. Um, You're offensive as can be. That's good. Uh, block crit damage reduction. Yeah, I don't think there's really anything else we can try here. We could try Shared Fate, maybe. Just a little bit extra damage coming out from him. All right. I just, I feel like we can do this, which is why I'm just chucking so many attempts at it right now. I would normally have stopped already, but I'm addicted, and I just need to keep trying. <laughs> I just need to keep trying. We need to kill her right here if he survives. Come on. We got the kill. Now it's just the two Horus. So the only times we're going to get attacked are those counterattacks. And if we can just keep healing enough, we should be fine. We have the Phoenix as well. Oh, no. We got... Come on. Come on. Oh, I think there's a turn limit, isn't there? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if there's a 15-round turn limit because Lord of Fear Aspen came through huge. <sighs> we might need to go a little more defensive on this one because I don't think this offensive strategy is going to work on here. <laughs> we'll see, though. Uh, he did somehow survive, though. That is impressive. So, Lord Fear Aspen, I don't think is going to be able to keep us going here. He's not going to have enough damage now. He's not going to get through the shield. Uh, let's put you back in the front row. I don't know if that actually matters here. That was a really good round one active. Might want to change him back to his tankier mode now. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, you are probably still fine. You need to come back to this and you need to come back to this. Okay. All this pretty much progression coming on the back of making our Lord of Fear Aspen stronger with his tenant spots. That just made a huge, huge difference. So we can de definitely take a few more hits, which is good. Still dying, though. Um, I think we have to get him to a round three active for a victory. 
Killing off two of them with the active seems solid. We keep them CC'd, which is good. Keep them CC'd. We need to get to one more attack. Here we go. And now maybe, since we do have Aspen... Oh, God, no, he had energy. This is definitely possible. It's going to be one of the longest free-to-play episodes you have ever seen. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, we didn't really lock them down, which means we might die here. <laughs> my god oh my goodness this is crazy um this seems like a very weak wave overall for Machman to just poo poo all over but i guess we'll see this could be an interesting matchup because every time i hit the Cthulhu, even if he doesn't get to attack he just places all those burns and bleeds on me which is just disgusting one more active come on yeah there we go Cleaning house. Let's keep it up. Let's see if we can keep this progression going. Please kill off those Olivia's because that speed swap is going to suck if they get it off. Luckily, um, we're still in kind of a good spot. The shrink's kind of annoying. I don't know if we can take on the Garudas. That's a lot of pings and we're shrunken, which means not a ton of damage. We're dead. Okay. We can definitely get this going. Kill off the Olivia's first, please. I guess killing one Garuda is not the worst. Because that's a lot less ping damage we have to encounter, but whoo, that fairy guard is utterly destroying us. And this is the power of Star Swordsman Machina right now. Just absolutely insane. Wait, wait, big active. <laughs> Just dunking on the competition. We're actually to the final boss battle, too. Absolutely disgusting. If we can make this happen, this is crazy. Oh, man. We're getting CC'd all over the place on this wave. We do have to change some things up. All right. Thank you for killing me. Um, Let's go change their E3 enables back over to Crowd Purify. Man, if only we could throw, like, 9-star Ignis in this game mode. But sadly, we cannot. Uh, I think we can get the win here. I'm pretty sure we can get the win here. This is just <laughs> like Aspen Dungeon. And just like that, bam, we have 1-1 completely cleared as free to play. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.